hope I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted, and he was already on his way out before I could stop him. But it shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. I could use some help with this. Hank's been a difficult employee, to be honest. More interested in showing off than doing good work. He's aggressive. He starts shit with the other employees. He's often late for work and so on. So this came up and I figured, maybe he's trying to turn things around. Even though I was reluctant, I wanted to give him a chance. Now I'm questioning if it was a good idea. Come on, mate. Let's hear it. I don't know. Maybe he got hit by pirates. Maybe he's out of fuel, drifting. Maybe he just stopped for chunks. Anyway, something's up, and it doesn't seem good. Since you've proven yourself so skilled in so many ways, I was hoping to call on you for it. So, you in? This is a huge help. You'll be happy to know I actually carved out some of the budget so I can pay you for all of your assistance. We don't currently have much information to go on. I'd suggest checking with Sidonia ship services over at the starport first. They'd be the last person I know that's seen Hank. It's all I've got without sending you all the way to Gagarin to retrace his steps. Good luck. dive deep into some chunks right now. Wanna join? You can make a real good living with
clutch of heat leeches, uh... Anything I can help you with? Hmm, let's see here. Hank, Hank, known by that name. Oh, wait, here we go. Henry Farrell. Hank's gotta be his nickname. <laughs> yeah, he's been through here. Took a ship and departed. Actually, it looks like he came back into Mars space recently, but he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside the city a ways. I've been doing this job for years, and I can't think of many reasons someone would come in for landing, but divert somewhere else. I've seen people try to offload some sort of contraband that way, but usually they don't do a flyby of the port before doing so, and scans would have picked it up, so I don't know. You're gonna have to ask me yourself, if you manage to track him down, that is. Nothing out of the ordinary. Got a ship and left. Tried and failed to get a discount on fueling up. Mm, that's about it. Yeah, something seems off about this. You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got crossed. Anyway, good luck and good day to you. I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. That's a little suspicious. Why would he do that? Moreover, why wouldn't he return with the goods? Something's definitely up. I asked around while you were gone. Some of his co-workers mentioned there's been a little extra, well, Hank lately. In particular, he was cursing up a storm about work and about his co-workers. Said some things that make me think his intentions here were not pure. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the Broken Spear. He frequently goes there to drink. We need to get to the bottom of this. Well, see if you can get him to admit it first. And if he does, see if you can get it back from him. If he resists, or otherwise won't tell you what we need to know, then we may have to turn him in. I trust that Sidonia security will bust him good, but he may not tell him where our stuff is. So see if you can at least get that out of him first.
Hey, I'm not gonna tell you how to do your job. I will say that I won't officially tell you to do anything to him. But he's been surly as of late and always had a weird chip on his shoulder. So if it comes to that, you do what you need to do to protect yourself. Uh, I dunno. Hank's kind of a weird guy. He never fit in with the team. Tended to act a little sketchy. Always figured he'd be done after one contract. Guy like Hank? Maybe he's just looking to sell it on the black market and earn an extra paycheck. Can't say for sure. Remember, it's most important that we find out where the equipment is. We can always deal with Hank later. We've got to do it before we lose track of it, before it gets sold, moved, or worse. And we've got to hope to whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't jettisoned into space. We've got our work cut out for us. Good luck. first contract, but I've already hauled more ore than any of the old-timers could ever produce. That's rather jealous of me. Of what? Standing around pointing a cutter at some rocks all day? It sucks, but it's easy, so whatever. Oh, way better than my last job at Chunks, though. My story? My story is that I don't like people asking what my story is. <laughs> I'm just messing! But really, I don't want to talk about myself. What? No. She's never told me about it. Hold on. Is there some big thing everyone knows about that they're just keeping from me? probably think I can't keep a secret. Fine! I don't want to have anything to do with their stupid Mars harp or whatever it is anyway. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first. Suit yourself? Uh, anyway, I seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? You're right. I didn't want to bring it back, so I took it. I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. I can't afford to break it. So, screw Deimos. Screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment's the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. It's my plan, and I'm already doing it. How could I? <laughs> you do it too if your co-workers never took you seriously. I'm always showing them how much better I am than them, and all they do is laugh and talk behind my back. They think I don't hear them, but I do. They say I'm a show-off, that I'm not good at what I do. So screw them. This whole planet sucks. Everyone here is a friggin' loser. Hmm. Shit. You could turn me in. I'd be in jail, and then this would be all for nothing. Damn it. Fine. You got me. 
I'll take you to where I stashed it, and then we can haul it back. But you better not be lying to me about not telling anyone. Sure, fine. I get it. Just, uh, follow me. We're going outside. If it's any consolation, I don't trust this man either. I'll keep an eye on him. Got cold beers and good atmosphere. Here's the most important work in the galaxy. We mine the resources that make spaceships. off with it. I'm impressed you figured it all out on your own. I thought I was being real careful. It was so easy, right? Boss man Trevor's so loud sometimes, you know? And I got good hearing, so I overheard you all talking about this equipment. I knew what it meant to everyone, and how screwed it'd all be without it. And then Trevor just let me go pick it up because he thought it was so showing condition. <laughs> it really was uh, the perfect plan. on selling this stuff. What do you think? 500 grand? Cool bill maybe? But 
where would I even have sold it? Not like I would have been able to march pallets of mining equipment down to Jane's without anyone noticing. Probably best we're returning it, because what a nightmare that would have been trying to offload it. And trying to destroy it all would have been another huge pain in the ass. It's mostly metal, right? <laughs> Was I thinking? I guess I could have flown somewhere remote and buried it, dump it all in one of the old mines and forget about it. Huh, but then you would have been real screwed, huh? Good thing you found me before I did that, am I right? That's enough. Now face me, so I don't have to shoot you in the back. No, we got a problem we can't resolve. Namely, you know too much. Do they? Ah. Oh. Maybe I need to rethink what I'm doing. And the only one... If you ask me... Sorry. And that means... You... Light him up!
might complain about landing here, but I have to admit, there is a sort of hidden beauty to the Martian landscape. Looking forward to hearing all of them. Any luck? Oh, do tell. What took him so long? Well, I can assume how that went from the fact that you're here and he's not. He worked hard, but he was a dumb kid. I just never thought he'd be that stupid. Or dangerous. It's a real shame. But I'm glad you managed to resolve it and get back our equipment. I'll take it from here. You really saved our asses. I'm not sure how I would have explained to the suits that we lost all that new stuff. Hey. You're still looking to help us out? Maybe check with Rivka. She seems to be having a rough go as of late. I haven't seen you around here before. Did you just move in? <laughs> Visiting Sidonia? <laughs> uh, it's a good one. No one just visits Sidonia. Nah, you're probably here on business. Am I right? Unless you're visiting friends or family, I guess. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Name's Mitch. I'm just a guy who lives here in the Lux condos. I'm always looking to make new friends. <laughs> uh, people say I can be a bit much sometimes. I love having people to hang out with and watch movies, talk about books, play games, or whatever. That's great. <laughs> you can get a little lonely in Sidonia if you don't know anyone. We've all been there. Anyway, I don't want to keep you, but I figured I'd ask. If you happen to know anyone with a ship, I've been looking for some help. You can send my way if they want to make a quick cred. What's that supposed to mean? But just because I look like I couldn't bench press a stick of raw spaghetti, I, I don't fit in here? Nah, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I got some issues that prevent me from working, and modern medicine could only help so much. I was offered an experimental treatment, and unfortunately, instead of getting cool superpowers, I got more medical conditions. But it's okay. They offered me this condo and set me up with enough money to get by without working. I live pretty well, all things considered. I'm <laughs> bored? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I got more entertainment at my fingertips than I'll ever finish. Even if it takes forever to get to Sidonia. I don't think I'll ever be bored. And I'm certainly not gonna waste my life working if I don't have to. I try not to let it get me down. Right now, I'm just focused on living the best life possible. I may have been dealt a shit hand of cards, but... I decided to say, screw that! <laughs> I'm gonna play however I want instead. <laughs> though, though uh, some things would be easier if I wasn't bound to my home. Well, I don't have the kind of money to pick up and leave. And otherwise, I kind of like it in Sidonia. My friends live here. 
Yeah, I get some credits every month, but <laughs> I'm no millionaire. Besides, I share my money. I blow it all on games, movies, comics, books, and other stuff for me and my friends. I feel like it's better to spend it now. Create good memories for us. Yeah, thanks. You too. Nice to have visitors. Ooh, yeah. I'm probably not the best person to ask about this. I mostly stay inside, watch movies, read books, and hang out with my friends. But there's a couple of bars around here. One's for the mine workers and one for everyone. Some people like hiking around Mars. It's a cool planet for that, I hear. Uh, people just kind of make their own fun here. New Atlantis, this ain't. My insomnia's just gotten so bad. The Radical Adventures of Jim and James. Yeah, uh, it's super old, but it still made me crack up. I accidentally started watching the sports movie because it was on and I was too lazy to change the channel. It's about this underdog team full of losers it goes on to win the championship. <laughs> you know the one I'm talking about? Anyway, it wasn't bad. Oh, you do? <laughs> That's great. Well, if it's not too much of an inconvenience, maybe I can entice you to do a favor for me, please? I found out recently that my favorite book series, Dragon Star Force, had a very limited initial run. I really want to collect all the first editions, but it's hard for me to get them shipped all the way out here. I already tracked down volume one. Could you go buy it and bring it back here for me? I I'll pay you back, of course. Plus, you know, extra for your trouble. They're these old science fiction fantasy books about space and uh, good versus evil and a mysterious magical relic called the Dragon Star. And there's this team of heroes who fight space wizards, and dragons, demons, and you know, whoever else seeks to take over the galaxy using the Dragon Star. You will? Wow, you're the first person to actually agree to do it. <laughs> Thanks. Well, like I said, I'll make it worth it to you. You won't regret it. Live where you work. Tired of commuting from distant systems to Sidonia every day? Lux Condominiums has premium apartments available to rent. I didn't think we had any new miners on account of the positions being full up. Defensive. No. I mean, okay, maybe I'm just a little concerned that we be hiring new people when some friends of mine were recently turned away. But that is all. Anyway, I'm Layla. When I'm not mining, I'm tinkering with no, our unofficial mascot. I fill that computer brain of his with all sorts of nonsense and announcements. Of course, if you're here to chat, I'm always happy to talk shop. Especially if you're interested in talking about the heart of Mars. <laughs> Very funny. Who sent you to ask? Was it Rivka? No. She seems to know what she's doing. I bet it was Hank, wasn't it? He always acts like he's top dog. 
but we all know he couldn't mine his way out of a wet paper bag. You're a miner too. Funny. I didn't think there were any new contracts starting. Which means you must work for a rival company. And if you think I'm going to divulge trade secrets, you've got another thing coming. Look, I won't report you, because we've all been there. But I'm not going to help you either. I like this job. I don't have any intention of losing it over something like this. This is only my second contract, so I think I've been here for, what, uh, four years now. It's great. I love it here. I'm working on getting those red eyes that are all the rage these days, you know. You'll hear a lot of these other chumps complaining about Sidonia. They say it's boring or dangerous or whatever. Look, I come from an ice planet. These people have no idea what they're talking about. Sidonia is practically paradise compared to where I grew up. Why? I mean, who wouldn't want cool blood-red eyes? It's kind of a badge of honor thing around here. People know your hot stuff when you got red eyes. Also, it freaks people who don't know about them. Except for little kids. They always seem to think it's awesome. Either way, it makes for fun social gatherings. What's wrong? You out of words? Yeah. Gnome's been down here forever. He's also been broken forever. Can't actually walk or do work, and we don't have it in the budget to fix him. No one's had the heart to junk him, but when I started, I gave him new purpose. I programmed him to tell us local news and announcements. I modeled his responses after my own sarcastic sense of humor. It proved to be popular, so I did what any aspiring comedian would do and gave him a bunch of stupid jokes to tell. People love it. Or... At least that's what they say. Oh, so you're interested in the heart of Mars, are you? Word is there's a cave out in the Martian waste with a gleaming node of the purest titanium ore you've ever seen. It's worth quite a lot of credits. But some say the heart of Mars is cursed. Hundreds have gone in search of it, never to return. And every one of them met a grisly fate. Maybe, just maybe. You could be the first to succeed, though. You know, if you think you got what it takes. No judgment if you're too scared. You seem pretty confident. Who knows, maybe you really will be the first. You'd certainly make history around here if you find it and live to tell. I'll share the coordinates of the cave with you. Remember to be wary out there, and best of luck. Okay, bye. The United Colonies Department of Labor... We're meeting our quotas. My workers are happy. What more? Great, now that you helped us get that new equipment. What a difference it makes. We're pumping out yields that would have taken twice the crew before. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Demo Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colonies' most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. Well, that's the idea anyway. Now, if we fail to meet our quotas, it'll be our own fault, not the bloody machines failing to do their job. Shame we didn't have enough left over to fix old Gnome over there. Would have been nice to have another functional robot around. It's fine, anyway. I think we've gotten used to that old broken-down talking computer just the way he is.
See you around. Have you checked your air filters lately? The city of Sidonia recommends checking your filtration units every two weeks for old, faulty, or improperly fitted filters. That's real good. Motion done is a leading cause of respiratory illness. Remember, refuses. keep it breathing so you don't get what easy. See you around. They told me this job would be tough. I don't see what the big deal is. Sure is. Mars is rich with mineral deposits, even this close to the city. Although we're also clearing out the space here to make way for possible future city improvements. Not sure what's gonna go here when we're done, how long it's gonna take, or even if it'll ever happen, but it'd be nice to see the city grow. Oh, I'm the blasting supervisor. I help take care of tricky deposits and expanding sections of the mine using controlled detonations. It's much faster than normal mining, but also more dangerous. Not as much as they used to be, but Mars is still ripe with minerals for the taking. Did you know they used controlled particle detonations in the deep mines? Crazy, huh? Oh, it must have been awesome to set all that up. I just use regular old explosive charges in my detonations, but I take what I can get, huh? That's why it takes someone with my qualifications and supervision to do it right. Or else terrible things can happen. About a year ago, some rookie kid thought he could increase his yield, so he strung up a bunch of charges and almost brought down a whole cave. We tightened up safety protocols since then, and I haven't had any accidents since. Well, at least none related to explosions. Uh, uh, not my team's explosions. That is. Oh, that. It's a legendary chunk of titanium ore that any miner would love to get their hands on. I can only assume Layla told you about it. She's obsessed, but too scared to go after it herself. Because of the curse. Hey, but you do you. Don't let her scare you off. Since you helped us out with the equipment and all, <coughs> I was wondering if I could talk to you. <coughs> we'll get to that. Will you listen to what I have to say first? It's... it's probably... <coughs> not, but I can't afford to go get it looked at. No idea. <coughs> Some sort of lung rot. Maybe from all the Martian dust that <coughs> kicks up in here. Or it could be something worse. I know. I wish it were that easy. Actually, maybe this is wrong. You're a total stranger. Forget I said anything. Thanks, I'll try it, but I really should see an actual doctor. 
It's clear you want to help. Maybe I can trust you. That's generous of you. But the poor girl clearly needs more help. See, I'd like to go to Reliant Medical for treatment, but my father, Nathan, is an executive with the Reliant. I came to Sidonia to escape him. Nathan is not a good man. Not to me. And I did something terrible to him, so now he is searching far and wide for me. He has connections with doctors throughout the settled systems. I don't know which ones I can trust, and it won't end well for me if they snitch to him. After my mother died in an accident, he changed. He became obsessed with my protection, but he never listened to what that was doing to me. It got worse and worse. First, it was no traveling in ships without one of his pilots. Then, no parties, no drinking, no leaving the house. I obeyed. But he didn't trust me, so he started monitoring everything I did. It became so bad, he once locked me in my room for two days after an argument. Can you believe that? A prisoner in my own home. Every day there was yelling, lack of freedom, threats. I had to escape my prison. But even now, I am trapped. <coughs> it's a risk I have to take. Yes, my condition is getting worse, but there's a chance it will clear up on its own. If my father finds me, well, I know my father, and I fear for my safety. That is a definite. It's worse than you think. I didn't just <coughs> run away from him. I knocked him unconscious, then stole his ship while he was out cold. Trust me, it was warranted at the time. After I ditched it above Aquila, I bounced around the <coughs> settled systems until I landed here. It's the last place I thought he'd find me. But all that changes if I pop up in the Reliant database. He'll know I'm in Sidonia, and he'll never stop looking for me. Last I heard, he no longer cares for my safety. He only wants revenge. I have little doubt he would throw me in jail for as long as possible. Or worse. <coughs> Trevor tells me you're skilled in dealing with people. Maybe you could try to reason with my father, or maybe scare him into backing off? But you should know. He has powerful and dangerous friends, so you must be careful. If it works, I'll be free. If not, well, at, at least he still won't know where to find me. <laughs> what do you think? He wasn't always the way he is. It wasn't until... <coughs> after my mother died that he changed. Grew angry, dangerous. He was no longer himself. You could try mentioning her by name. Belinda. He misses her greatly. Thinking about her tends to calm him down. It's worth a try. It just so happens there's a conference he goes to on Neon around this time of year. He always stays at Hotel Volai. He won't see visitors he doesn't know, but maybe he'll talk if you tell him you're there on my behalf. It's risky, but maybe he'll listen if he knows you mean him no harm. I've got it. Bring him a bottle of his favorite whiskey. 
Red Harvest Reserve. Say it's... <coughs> Say it's a peace offering from me. That whiskey is exceedingly rare. I'm sure it will pique his interest enough to hear what you have to say. There may be, but getting him to listen to you is the key here. And what I've told you is the surest way I can think of. There was a time he had a falling out with his brother, and that whiskey did the trick to bring them back together. With that gift, he will know I am sincere. Good luck. You can check with Jack at the Broken Spear for the whiskey. He may have some or... <coughs> know where to get it. And thank you so much for trying to help me. Graffiti and other street art is not tolerated for Sidonian City Ordinance 5. Failure to comply with this ordinance will result in fines not exceeding 5,000 credits or 100 hours community service. Feel free to drop...
goodbye. Sidonia is an industrial town. The people there tend to be... concise. Bye for now. my crew position. This will all lead. Ask whatever you'd like.
Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> a ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything, it's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the Starfield, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. Talk to you later.
sure it's safe out there. Watch the boost packs, or the low grav might send you into the sky.
Macedonia, isn't it? I'd be happy to... Maybe another time. to protect it from the elements. Or oh, prying eyes.
Wonder where this will all lead. Let's see what you've got. Time to go? Not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. when you work harder than anyone else. What? Hold on. You're telling me you actually found the Heart of Mars? It's supposed to be harmless prank we send newbies to go find. It's not supposed to actually exist. Yet, here it is. Or at least something resembling the legend. The only way this could happen is if... Damn it! If I gave you the wrong cave coordinates. Well, whatever you found, it's still impressive. You showed me up on this one. Feel free to keep it, since I'd say you earned it. I hope the jail teaches a lesson. Report any injuries I may cause to my supervisor. 